Hey everyone, welcome back to MB Tutorials. This time we are going to show you how to make your own logo. Now in this tutorial we will cover a couple of items that I'm going to discuss right now. Apply different transformations, use the pen tool to make a selection, apply multiple layer styles, and use lighting to your advantage. These are going to be the things that I'm going to be talking about in this tutorial. If you already know this, you can still watch it to get some clearing up and if you don't, go ahead and watch it already because I know for sure that you will learn something. Okay, so let's get started. First off, I want to tell you that you will need Adobe Photoshop. I am using CS5. Point, uh, actually, CS5 Extender right here. Okay. So we'll do full screen. We go to File and New, and we're going to make a new file that is 1440 pixels by 900 pixels RGB color. Okay, so we're going to make this. Now I I don't like it to go behind my uh, layer and like these these windows for the layers and uh, swatches and styles and stuff. So I'm gonna put it down a little bit and um, okay I'm I'm just gonna put it like this. Okay now what we're gonna do is we are first of all we're gonna make the background black just because just because we need black. Okay um, and before I actually start with this I want to tell you that the font that you need for this is not in the default font package on your computer so you might want to go to our first ep um, episode of the tutorial which is actually the font download and you will go ahead uh, you you can actually go ahead and download all the fonts you want right there um, on a little site and uh, yeah the link is in the description so go there if you don't have the font yet the font that we're going to use is Xerod right here okay we're going to make it a little bigger uh, what we are going to do is we are going to make a logo similar to the logo right here this one MB graphics. Uh, we're not gonna put this text under here or anything like that. Uh, we're gonna use the lighting, the gradient effects, and the uh, the shading. So this is gonna be pretty easy to do actually. You're gonna go to Photoshop again, open your document, and we're gonna type in. For now, we're gonna type in MB. Now this is a little way too big. I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Let's put it on 30. Okay, like this. Now we're gonna do rasterize type. This is the first thing we're gonna do. Now what you pretty much want to do is we are going to select the B okay and control X control X or actually uh, go to edit and click cut and uh, it will be gone and then when you make a new layer and control V or you go to edit and paste and it will be there okay so we want to make sure it's, it stays on the same level uh, and you can see that by actually the three purple lines those are the guides um, to make sure that these are perfectly aligned. What we want to do is, while in free transform mode, you can actually enter that by pressing Control T on your keyboard and uh, actually right click in your object. So right here, and we'll click Skew right here. Now what you do is you pretty much drag this one until it's kind of like tilted over the same way as the M. You can do this on different like ways with different letters. I'm just using it right now uh, like this to show you how you can do this for the M and the B. Now right now it's it's almost perfect. I'm just gonna edit it a little bit. Uh, let's see what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna put it just like this. Okay. So this is what we want. Now what we want to do is we want to create a little um, actually I don't want this um, piece of the B to like go straight through the uh, the end like this. this. This doesn't look right for me. What I want is I want something like this with a gap right here. But this gap is really easy to make. What we are going to do is we are going to use the pen tool which is right here in your tool palette and you can just select it. Make sure it's a normal pen tool and not a free form add anchor, delete anchor or anything like that. Just put it on pen tool. We're gonna zoom in a little bit on the M right here. Okay let me go here and we will actually put a point right here and when you actually click and drag it will crea uh, create a um, a dynamic point and that means that it can actually bend the line that is going uh, to it and from it so just put it like this and then right here we'll put another um, another one of those another dynamic and then here we'll put a solid and a solid is pretty much just an angle and right here you can put it on any angle you want um, you can see that the line is not bending as you click, but it's only bending when you click and drag. So we're not going to do that anymore now. We are just going to go to a, around here. Well, you know what? I actually like this one. Um, and we are going to put one here. And then we are continuing 
uh, this curve right here. So we're putting this. I'm just doing this with the key, uh, with uh, the arrow keys. Uh, you can also do this with um, the normal movement tool. Okay, so I got pretty. I pretty much got my uh, my curve right here. It doesn't have to be like super perfect, but it, it does help when it's good. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to here. Control X path. That means cut the path. You can also do that with edit. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the B over top of the M, just like this, so that it all comes together. Then we're gonna go to paths and control V, or actually um, right here, we could go ahead and click paste. Now what we wanna do is we wanna create, we actually wanna take this away from the B. So what we go is we go to path, hold control, and click work path, or you can actually right click and make selection. Here we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to layer two, and we're gonna delete. And then Control D to uh, deselect your uh, object of the layer. Now we've got the simple. We, we simply got the the logo pretty much ready right now. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that this is not like I can pull it out again. Uh, that's not what we want to happen. So what we do is we get the two holding Control. Uh, you can select both, or you can select them both with. Um, using the shift key but make sure that when you need to select layer 1 and 2 and there's a layer between you don't use shift because it will select all so select these two and we're gonna go ahead and go to convert the smart object now when we have done that we wanna click rasterize layer so we can edit it later on we wanna put it in the center and the center of this image is actually 720 by 450 now we will move it up a little bit so it looks better um, because maybe you know most of the logos have, uh, like have a little text under them. Uh, I'm not go doing the text right now, but I'm just putting it right there so it looks nice. Okay, layer two. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use uh, the simple uh, layer options right here. Uh, in the layer style, we can actually choose drop shadow. Since the background is black, we don't need drop shadow. Inner shadow you can use. It looks like it's kind of like cut out of the uh, out of kind of like the uh, black background. But I don't really like that that much. I'm going to do distance zero and I'm going to put the size up a little bit. So it looks a little bit more like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click inner glow. Now inner glow could be a little weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to multiply and make it black. And when you do that you instantly see that the lines are getting a little softer right here. And it looks it already looks a little nicer. Now you can also use the bevel and emboss. And you can kind of like, you know, create edges. Um... Let's see, you can like put the depth up and stuff. I don't really like using the uh, bevel and emboss option right here. I just like to go with this because it looks a lot softer. So we're going to go to color overlay. I'm going to change this to multiply. I'm going to go to gradient overlay. I'm going to make sure that the gradient is actually going from here to right about there. So the bottom is actually a lot darker uh, than the top. Now what we want to do is we're going to go to color overlay. And change it a little bit so it's a little lighter. And make sure they're both on multiply so they actually multiply on the layer itself. Okay. Now what you might want to do is you want to get a copy of layer 2. Now I'm going to call this logo. And we are actually going to create a new light effect beneath, uh, actually beneath the this layer. So we're going to hit Ctrl J or duplicate layer. And we're going to call it light logo like this we're gonna put the effects off I'm gonna uh, click and drag underneath the logo now we can close the effects tab on both now what we kinda wanna do is uh, actually I, I do want some effects in there I want the inner shadow and a glow more than that I don't need okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to filter blur and we're gonna choose radial blur I'm gonna put the amount up to 100. Put it on zoom. Put it on best. Wait a minute, I got a Skype message. Okay, that's not. Um, okay, stop. Okay, here we go. <laughs> um, so when you do that and you click OK, um, pretty much what you'll get is something like this. Now this doesn't really look good because of the fact that the effect is on. So let's do it again. Radio blur. And now when you actually hit Control F, it will actually redo. 
uh, the blur that you just did in filter and you can do that like how many times you would like to do it uh, until you kind of get the right result now this is good for me and uh, I don't really like like the rough edges on here on the light so I'm gonna go to filter blur and Gaussian blur and now you can see that when I put this up you will see kinda like a little light effect and when I put it on minimal you will see that it still got the lines so I'm gonna put it around 10 just like this okay now what you might not like is this being here uh, between uh, actually like between here and here you might not like this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete that with the eraser tool make sure you don't use the hard tool but the soft one with hardness on 0% make sure that this is around 66 and now uh, okay and now just simply put it in the middle and drag it down it doesn't have to be precise but it's nice when you have a straight edge just like this Okay. Uh, now pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same on this side of this so it kinda looks the same and also on the bottom a little bit okay um, let's see okay now it looks pretty much symmetrical right here on the bottom of this little thing right here this is what you're seeing right now is actually the pixel grid these are the individual pixels in the image and when you zoom out you won't see it anymore okay so this is pretty much what you uh, can expect from yourself now what you also want is a little outer glow so we're gonna go back to the normal logo we're gonna double click go to outer glow and let's say we want a red outer glow we'll put the size up and you don't really need opacity that high but let's say we want it something like this Okay. Now this looks pretty nice already and when you go to here and you click color overlay you actually deselect all the other ones okay color overlay we're gonna choose red now you'll see that it's completely red and when we actually go back to the logo and we go to outer glow we can actually put this down so it looks kinda nice in contrast with the radial blur behind the MB right here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to add some highlights. So how we do that is we're going to make sure we use the white color tool with the line tool and we are going to make a pretty fat line right here. Uh, I got mine normally at 300 pixels wide and in that way I can just put it like this. I'm just going to put it like right here and what we're going to do is we're going to rasterize layer. We're going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and we're gonna put the filter up to about 30 okay like 30 um, right because right now it kinda looks like a little beam of light and especially when I put it on uh, let's see soft light some people tend to use like overlay I don't really like that one I like soft light more but let's just use overlay for, uh, overlay for now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to logo and we're gonna hit this uh, right, here, right here the magic wand and we click outside the MB now when we go back to the shape and we hit delete it will delete all the piece of like the line outside of our logo so now we got this nice lighting effect right here now you might not like this so I'm not gonna do that right now um, let's see control D to deselect and right now we've got a highlight there you go if you kinda like want a low light that's pretty much how it's called um, you might want to use the black line tool. I'm just going to make this a little smaller. I'm going to make this 100, 100 pixels wide, and I'm going to put this around here. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same here rasterize layer, filter, Gaussian blur. I'm simply going to put this on multiply. I'm going to put the opacity down a little bit. And now you will see that it kind of looks nice uh, with the lighting behind it. And this is just a little tutorial on how to make our logo. Um, of course, you can use any logo you want. You can make any logo you want. This is just for inspiration and also for showing you guys some tr uh, tips and tricks using the pen tool, uh, using the layer options, and also using the blurs and, of course, uh, the transformations. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this tutorial. If you learned something, go ahead and click that like button. And, uh, yeah, if you're going to use our IDs, go ahead and um, give us the link if you do actually upload it on YouTube because we might want to see what people actually make from our tutorials. Um, so, yeah, if you think, like, we can do something better, go ahead and leave a comment down below. 
and uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already because there's lots of more to come. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.